Welcome, friends, to Truth or Lore. I am Mr. Mythos, and today we will explore a curious case of Indian mythology that raises a new set of questions when tested by modern science. Located southeast of India within the Palk Strait is a distinctive chain of limestone shoals connecting India to Sri Lanka. This bridge is known as Rama's Bridge from the perspective of Hinduism, but it may be better known by its Islamic name, Adam's Bridge. For thousands of years, local myth and religious folklore has explained the man-made origins of this 18-mile or 30-kilometer linking structure. But many scientists over the decades have pushed back, insisting that it is nothing more than a natural formation composed of sand, silt, and small pebbles collected over time. A bridge that length would have been basically impossible to build thousands of years ago. A monumental feat of engineering for early humans, nothing short of miraculous. However, more modern investigation by researchers hark back to the possibility that the legends may have real insight as to the origins of this bridge, albeit shrouded in a religious veil. Before we dive in, please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in strange archaeology ancient myth, and the most puzzling mysteries of history. I promise to bring you the best and most in-depth content possible here on Truth or Lore. We'll begin our investigation by taking a closer look at the bridge itself. Adams Bridge was above sea level and fully walkable up until the 15th century. This we know for sure. Sometime around 1480 AD, a wild and violent storm desolated the bridge and deepened the channel. Since that day, the bridge structure has largely been underwater, with depths ranging from shallow to deep. Because it is still so close to the water surface, today ships from India must take another route in order to reach Sri Lanka. Adams Bridge is a very sacred place in both Muslim and Hindu religious cultures. Both have their own distinctively different accounts of how the bridge was built. According to Hinduism, the bridge known as Rama's Bridge was built by a monkey man army led by the demigod Hanuman. According to Islam, the bridge known as Adam's Bridge was built by a grieving giant, the first man on earth. You can probably guess his name. We'll begin with the Islamic origins of the bridge. Adam's Bridge is named in reference to the Abrahamic myth of Adam and Eve, but it isn't the only location in Sri Lanka named after Adam. Adam's story in Sri Lanka begins at the 7,360-foot mountaintop known as Adam's Peak, the site where some Islamic traditions lay claim that the prophet Adam first set foot on earth. The peak bears a distinctive footprint-like indent in the ground measuring five and a half by two and a half feet. The prophet Muhammad stated that Adam was 60 cubits or 90 feet tall, a giant by any definition of the word. When Adam was expelled from the Garden of Eden and cast out from paradise, God sent him to earth. Adam was separated from Eve, who descended to another land. Adam landed on the peak with such force that it casted a lasting impression of his footprint within the rock. Adam wandered the land for years looking for Eve, crying with regret. And this is why it's said that Sri Lanka resembles the shape of a teardrop. It is thought that Adam eventually found Eve deep in the Arabian deserts, in a city now known as Jeddah, which translates to grandmother or ancestor of women. The biblical Eve's tomb can be found in this city. But the story leaves us with a pressing question. How did Adam travel from Sri Lanka, a faraway island, to the deserts of Saudi Arabia? Boats were not invented at that time, and swimming across the Arabian Sea was highly unlikely, even for a giant like Adam. He must have walked there by land. When you look at a map, you'll see that Sri Lanka and Arabia are quite far away from each other. It wouldn't make sense to build a bridge between those two lands. But a path that connects Sri Lanka to India and mainland Asia would be enough for Adam to walk to Arabia on foot. Considering that Adam was a 90-foot giant who lived for 1,000 years, constructing this bridge by himself seems plausible. Now, for the Hindu version of the tale. 
The Indian Sanskrit epic Ramayana by Valmiki speaks of a bridge, Rama Satu. Satu means bridge in Sanskrit, by the way, so we'll call it Rama's bridge. This bridge connected India with Sri Lanka, a land ruled by the ten-headed Brahmin emperor, Ravana. Since ancient times, the Indian end of Rama Setu has remained one of the holiest pilgrimage sites in Hinduism. As told by the Ramayana, the Lord Rama's wife Sita was abducted by Ravana as an act of revenge as Rama and his brother Lakshmana had cut off the nose of Ravana's sister, Chirpanaka. Jatayu, the vulture king, tried to protect Sita, but Ravana caught him and cut off his wings. Jatayu survived long enough to inform Rama of Sita's capture. Without hesitation, Rama gathered an army of monkey men led by the monkey commander Hanuman in order to rescue her. They quickly learned, however, that Sita was being held hostage on the island of Lanka. Hanuman's massive monkey army could not cross the treacherous ocean, so Rama consulted with the sea god Varuna, who advised him to build a great bridge under the supervision of Nala, architect of Hanuman's army. Nala and the rest of the monkey men constructed the passageway over five long days using massive rocks and boulders from the shore. Once Rama's bridge was finally completed, Hanuman and his monkey man army crossed the ocean and infiltrated Lanka, killing the Brahmin emperor Ravana and rescuing Sita. Over the centuries, there have been many scientific theories as to the formation of Adam's bridge. Researchers in the 18 and 1900s thought that the bridge-like structure may have been formed from Sri Lanka breaking away from the Indian mainland, revealing an ancient coral shoreline. Another theory was accretion, the accumulation of small particles into larger objects by the force of gravity. Scientists also speculate whether it may be the result of the thinning of Earth's crust in the Polk Strait, or perhaps just a sand formation created by the ocean currents. There have been so many theories as to why it may be a natural formation, yet none are conclusive or bear much weight. Conversely, there are two well-known scientific studies on the bridge that lead modern science to believe that the structure may actually be man-made after all. In 2007, Dr. S. Badrina Rayanan, a former director of the Geological Survey of India, performed a survey of the structure and concluded with confidence that it was man-made. His team of divers and scientists physically examined the structure and discovered strong evidence of ancient quarrying in that specific area. Coral reefs are formed only on hard surfaces, but during the study we found that the formation at Adams Bridge is nothing but boulders of coral reefs. When we drilled for investigation, we found that there was loose sand two to three meters below the reefs. Hard rocks were found several meters below the sand. Such a natural formation is impossible. Unless somebody has transported them and dumped them there, those reefs could not have come there. Some boulders were so light that they could float on the water. Apparently, whoever has done it has identified light boulders to make it easy for transportation. Since they are strong, they can withstand a lot of weight. As a side note, some versions of the Ramayana state that Rama's bridge was constructed with floating stones. In 2017, researchers revisited the site with newer, more accurate technology in hand. They were able to scientifically date the rocks of Adam's bridge to be approximately 7,000 years old, but sitting on top of sand that was a mere 4,000 years old. Because the rocks predate the sand that they sit upon, it strongly suggests that the stones were brought in and placed there. Yet more evidence that the structure is likely not natural, but man-made. To tie back recent scientific findings with the old religious myths and legends, we find the most connection when digging into the history of the Ramayana. The earliest written copy of the Ramayana that we know of dates back to 1500 BCE, though this religious narrative is often thought to be much, much older. Interestingly, in 2003, a team from the Center for Remote Sensing of Bharathidasand University dated the age of the bridge between 125,000 and 3,500 years old. 
so the timeframes match up. But it must be noted that this estimation was based on studies conducted on corals grown on the bridge itself. Therefore, this may only represent the age of what was measured, which was the corals. The parts of the bridge underneath the corals were dated back to hundreds of thousands of years earlier. Now, here's where it starts getting a little bit curious. Lord Rama himself, the hero from the tale, is believed to have lived during the Treta Yuga, a period of time that began over 2 million years ago, ending just under 1 million years to date. Considering the possibility that it was Rama that built the bridge may seem completely ridiculous when considering the time frame. In fact, an army of monkey men may sound pretty fantastical itself. But 2 million years ago? Bear with me and think about this for a minute. 2.5 million years ago was a major turning point in human evolution, right before the beginning of the Treta Yuga. The genus Homo was introduced with Homo habilis, the first group of primates known to use tools. 1.8 million years ago, Homo erectus were introduced in Eurasia. Homo erectus were said to have a larger brain than their ancestors and other Homo offshoots at the time. Their skeletal structure also suggests that they were significantly stronger and more robust than humans today. Archaeologists and anthropologists have discovered that Homo erectus lived in small communities, created their own housing, wore clothing, and used stone tools. This primate group made up the earliest form of civilization that we know of, and they happened to live in the right geographic location during the Treta Yuga period. So, could the monkey men described in the Ramayana possibly refer to Homo erectus, or early humans? More so, we begin to see some connection with the Islamic version of events. Islam maintains that the same Adam that built the bridge was the first man on earth, the same Adam that is predecessor to all people on earth from whom mankind evolved from our earliest ancestor. Now, I know it sounds outlandish, as it probably is, but fact is often stranger than fiction, and there may be some truth and insight within what seems to be nothing more than a fantastical legend. Regardless, Adam's Bridge is a fascinating structure that will likely continue to spark religious debate and puzzle the scientific community for years to come. Thank you so much for watching. If you found the speculations and lore behind Adam's Bridge fascinating, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And subscribe if you'd like to explore more mysteries of history here on Truth or Lore. I'm Mr. Mythos and I'll see you in the next video.